my name is Jez Rosenberg, and uh, I led this project which married systems thinking approaches uh, and co-production from the social sciences uh, to form a framework that we've used to review digitalisation of strategies uh, in the UK, uh, and also uh, that applied to cities and towns. So very much bringing uh, systems thinking approaches into that review process. Right, our research has investigated the opportunities and the challenges city leaders face with digitalisation and how they make good strategic choices. For example, Denver Smart City has chosen to use digital technologies to deliver more sustainable uh, mobility for its citizens and zero carbon type communities. Today, Bristol will be launching its digital smart city strategy, and that's going to be built on the one city plan. It will place creating a fair, just, livable city and climate change centre stage. Working with the Centre for Digital Built Britain, Bristol is open, and Bristol City Council has afforded us access to leaders and managers of digitalisation across the UK and Ireland, including Dublin, Glasgow, Liverpool and Cardiff. And that's provided the quality of data analysis and insight into these complex challenges and opportunities that we needed to take the research forward. Our findings. Numerous barriers are frustrating implementation of digital technologies at scale. A lack of robust scientific knowledge uh, undermines public trust in smart city projects and we see how this is uh, playing out now with a very uh, a number of anti-5G campaigns that are springing up. Other barriers such as skills, organisation, cultures uh, are listed and described in the report in more detail. To shape uh, digitalisation, the consensus of the city stakeholders we spoke to was the critical importance of articulating tangible desired outcomes. For example, Bristol City's uh, digital strategy is underpinned by its one city plan uh, that details goals out to 2050, but digital futures are uncertain uh, and certainly the strategies that we saw uh, are vague, often in a flux. So it's important to have emergent di digital strategies. We found that effective digital strategies uh, and plans were best where they were tailored to local needs and that local networks were vibrant and strong and able to articulate and, and devise those. Urban challenges can be rapid and permanent. Midsummer Norton is a small town on the uh, edges, margins of Bristol. It developed its infrastructure, banks, churches, in the 1850s in a decade. But they now face unique challenges from digitalisation, not just within the town itself, but from its neighbours as well. So sharing the gains, uh, gains of digitalisation is key. Bristol is looking at models of social responsible innovation involving public in co-production and living lab type approaches. Glasgow has looked at uh, digital inclusion projects with schools. But the question is, do we need a new digital social contract so that we can share those games, gains? We developed a conceptual framework and this allows us to devise useful thought experiments and, and raise questions such as what are the risks uh, and, and where are their opportunities as we see digital layers uh, interweaving with the pre-existing analogue layers. So our report presents many policy recommendations which we would recommend to you. For example, the need for digital public goods. How do we fund these? The transfer of knowledge from lead cities to follower towns and what sort of structures and networks would help us to achieve that. So that towns like Midsummer Norton uh, have a stake in the future of this digital revolution and are not left behind. Thank you.